I've been an activist for 30 years, since 1980, and I am an, uh, an admirer and disciple of a, a woman philosopher named Ayn Rand, A-Y-N-R-A-N-D. She is famous for a few books in North America called Atlas Shrugged and The Fountainhead. Well, in 1980, I read her books. I felt profoundly changed, and I wanted to be an uh, advocate for human liberty, individual liberty, and I was going to go and do those things. So 30 years ago, I started campaigning for human rights, and 20 years ago, I specifically began campaigning every day to legalize marijuana and to end the drug prohibition, and uh, legalize all drugs, but especially marijuana, and stop people going to jail. And in Canada, at the time, in 1990, all books and magazines about marijuana were illegal, banned, totally seized by the police, warehouses for grow books they seized, high times not allowed into Canada for eight years, 1987 to 1995. So in 1990, I start breaking these laws. I sell these magazines, I am advertising them, I daring the police to put me in jail, and I start this challenging. And so over 20 years, we, we made books and magazines about marijuana legal in 1995. And we got industrial hemp legalized in 1994, and medical marijuana legalized in 1999. And even in part of 2003, I went across the country and smoked in front of police stations in all the big cities to prove that marijuana was legal everywhere in Canada that year. So I have been increasingly more involved for 20 years. Giving, I, I gave away five, four million dollars from 1994 to 2005 to all these movements around the world, including some in Spain, the global marijuana marches, uh, marches in Paris, in London, England, as well as political parties in New Zealand and Israel. Everywhere we were giving money away, millions to Americans, Canadians and people around the world that we would earn from selling seeds. Uh, we became very well known for selling good seeds and we, people gave us lots of money and we gave this money away. And so we started this overgrow the government revolution where our idea was you buy these seeds, you grow lots of marijuana, you make it more impossible for the police to destroy our culture, and then when you send me money, I give this money away and we participate in politics and in rallies and marches and we have a magazine and political parties. We founded the political party, the British Columbia Marijuana Party. We have the magazine Cannabis Culture. We started the Cannabis Cafe and all these different things to give people like a liberation movement, like the gay liberation. They have media, they have clubs, they have rallies, marches. I looked at them, right? And the feminists, the women's movement, right? They have the rallies, they have clubs, they have political parties. So I thought we should imitate that and do all these things ourselves. So 20 years later, it's very successful now. There is a great deal of pressure everywhere in the world and it will break soon. I think it will break in America first, but as soon as California legalizes marijuana, the rest of the world will be chasing fast to do it. Because otherwise, all the tourists will go to California, and everyone will lose a lot of money. Like if marijuana stays illegal here and is legal in California, all the good growers will leave and they will grow in California and that will happen everywhere and all the tourists will stop coming to Vancouver and they will go there and it will be much worse. So there will be competition to legalize very quickly after California. You think it's going to be legal? Yeah, very before. soon. I think because it's legal in Argentina now, it puts pressure on Brazil and Chile and Uruguay to legalize because the young people will go party in Argentina. Right? And that's a lot of money, you know, going to the beach, going to the hotel, buying the marijuana, eating at the restaurants. You know, the marijuana might only cost $20, but they spend $500 each day they are spending $20 on the marijuana, right? That's what the tourism is all about, not just the marijuana, but everything else, the hotels, the food, you know, the munchies. Oh, it's going to be big, big, big. If California legalizes soon, and they, have a, they are debating it now, there is a bill called SB 390. And what it is is the $100 tax an ounce on marijuana, but the marijuana is legal now, so the price comes way down. And the government thinks they will get $2 billion in taxes, but it's possible up to $10, $12 billion in total business from tourists because every young person, instead of going to Florida or, or to, you know, they're going to California, let's face it, if marijuana is legal and you have two weeks, you're going to California. And that will be true for you know, tens of millions of Americans.